truly just a family man. Uh, I've got three wonderful kids. Me and my wife, uh, we've been married 14 years now. Back in Father's Day, that was my race car that was sitting out front. Since I was 13 years old, I've been driving circle track cars at Virginia Motor Speedway. We've won multiple championships. My father did it, my mom actually did it, and then my brother did it for a while. I lost my mother, and then within eight months, I lost my father. It was just really tough. My mom, she was my rock, but my dad was my best friend. In the uh, leading months to him passing, I started reaching out to God, you know, praying that he could figure out some way to fix what was going on with my father. When I lost my father, I mean, I was in the darkest places. I was mad at everybody and everything. And then about the same time that that was going on, my wife, Michelle, started coming here and she begged and she begged for me to come and I just wasn't ready. I blamed God. I reached out to him for help and he took my father away. I'd bring my wife here. I would drop her off at the front door and I'd say, call me when you're ready. She would ask me every Sunday to come with her, and every Sunday the same answer was always no. She joined a serving team. I could see things changing in her life for the better. And then finally, the Christmas Eve of last year, she was like, uh, this is the only Christmas present I want, is for you to come to church. And I was like, uh, what can you say to that? So I came, I was hoping to be in the shadows somewhere, but no. For some reason, she got us really, really close. I can't remember the entire prayer, but a lot of it was about forgiveness and letting go and moving forward in life. At that moment, I, I said the prayer, I believed it, and I stood up when he asked everybody to stand up. Uh, the ushers brought me a Bible. It was like the weight of the world was on my shoulders, and then the moment I let everything go, it was like, doors swung wide open for me. I did not expect to have a relationship with Jesus. When I found it, it was just an incredible feeling that you get when you just let everything go and move forward. I couldn't see Sunday without LifePoint in it. As I sit on the stage that I have never thought I'd be on, um, because normally some of the best preaching I ever hear is from this stage. All these seats behind me, are empty now, but they represent people whose lives has been changed or can be changed if you just take an open invitation. Life Point in Fredericksburg changed my life, but you have Stafford, Spotsylvania, and Culpeper. Any door is open. Everybody at my work has received an invitation to Christmas at Life Point. I know what it did for my life. The importance in inviting somebody to LifePoint, in my opinion, is the story I'm sharing. The direction that my life has gone in the past year, I can't even begin to describe how dark the days were and how bright the days can become. I could not thank my wife enough. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. My relationship with Jesus, it shows you how precious each and every moment of your life can be.